Next up in the tank is a husband and wife team who are here to prove their business is ready for a shark to sink their teeth into. Hi sharks, my name's Elisa and this is my husband and business partner, Elias. Together we founded Just Jerky, an authentic and all natural beef jerky. Firstly, we're here today seeking your mentorship. We're also here to ask for a $75,000 investment in return for 20% equity share in our company. Beef jerky is a super trendy and loves snack food. However, Australians have not yet had the opportunity to experience a compelling and authentic brand that is a real standout in quality, taste and enjoyment. Just Jerky is currently stocked in over 400 stores across Australia. And we're on track to be available in a thousand outlets by the end of financial year. Wow. Our aim over the next four years is to turn that into 5,000 stores whilst also carving out a unique position in the global beef jerky market. So sharks, are you ready to take a bite? My word. Absolutely. Very good, well done. So that's $75,000 for 20%. So you're valuing your company at about 375. Correct. Okay, so can we taste it? Please. Yeah, go for it. Can we right. so, so see some packaging, please? Yeah, yeah, sure thing. I'll grab you well, a few packs. Which is which, though? There's, there's three different types here, so yes. I'm assuming... So the red one is a chilli version. That's right. my favourite. Highly yeah. recommend it. There's an original, which is a garlic um, and pepper flavour. Right. And there's a herb, Dude. which uh, we call it a herb, it's and it's a, a, a honey oh. and coriander-based flavour. That's hot. The chilli one? Yeah. yeah. It's good, though, but it's hot. <laughs> Do you eat much chilli? Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah. So how did the idea of making beef jerky here in Australia come around? Yeah, well, it started in Canada, actually. I was ah. over there on a snowboarding trip, and one of my friends who was living over there brought a whole heap of beef jerky up the mountain, and, and none of us had heard of it, so we, we tried it, and we thought this is the greatest thing in the world. So excited about it. And, <laughs> Uh, on the way back to Australia, I, I said to Elise, I'm going to start a beef jerky business. And, huh. and, she, and she laughed in my face and told me I was an idiot. <laughs> yeah, so I laughed at him and went, oh, yeah, no, We're, this is not, it's not going to happen. How did you start to understand how the beef jerky worked? Did you get some cows in the kitchen? Like, did you, like... I started in the kitchen and then uh, built a little factory myself. And had Elisa in there, had my mum, my dad, my auntie, my sister. Oh, uh, and then we outgrew that facility pretty quickly and then outsourced manufacture. And now it's made in uh, Brisbane. Um, awesome, it's made in Brisbane. So if you've outgrown your kitchen, you could talk about some pretty healthy numbers then to support your $375,000 valuation. What do you reckon? Yeah, so uh, we're on track for 260,000 turnover this year and we believe we'll, we'll hit close to 900,000 the year after. Why? Just through all the new stores we keep bringing on and the increase in sell rate through our existing customers. So I'm intrigued, because my family invested in jerky production about 20 years ago in North Queensland. Wow. Thank you. So I know this industry backwards. Yeah, right. Other people running the business, they never got the traction and it all fell apart. Why is Just Jerky working? There's, there's, a, there's a big part of timing. So the industry now, people are looking for more whole food snacks, high protein snacks as well. Yep. We made sure that the product was all natural ingredients, making sure that the sugar's quite low, it was a healthy alternative, as well as delicious. So you've asked for $75,000. So what's that going to turn into? How are you planning to return that? So over a four year period, we believe we can triple it. That's just focusing on the domestic market. However, we know there's a massive opportunity in the, in the export market. Look, beef jerky is a big market, 2.8 billion, I think, to be precise, in the US. Uh, but I think it's too early stage for me. I don't have a problem with your valuation, but I'm not going to be your partner. I'm out. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Andrew. This is, this is not the best quality jerky I've seen. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. He's in love with your product, which is a good thing. <laughs> you know, I came into Shark Tank years ago, wanted to do a few different sorts of deals. Booze and food, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really keen to get in here. I'll give you the 75... I'm, I'm not giving you nothing. I'm going to buy equity from you for 75,000 bucks, half of 40%. 
Thank you. Thank you. OK, so we've got one shark in, 75k for 40%. I'm just... I'm going to sit for five minutes, but you do fit in. I'm in organic supermarkets, uh, I'm into wellness uh, and food technology. So you fit there, but I'm just not sure. You'd love to have a decisive investor, wouldn't you, rather than someone who sits on the fence all the time? That'd be fantastic. Could you imagine a board meeting with that? I actually think having mentors around you who are considered is yeah. a very valuable thing. What you don't want is somebody who rushes in and rushes out. Because you've made it really clear that you're in this for the long haul and you do need an investor who's by your side with has the same values and that's really important. I'm going to make you an offer. $75,000, which is what your request is for. 35%. In other words, I'm trying to undercut this bugger because I think I'd be a better partner. Thank you, Naomi. OK. Are you ready yet? No, not yet. OK. I, I, I'm happy to make an offer. So I'm actually going to match the red balloon. I have a name. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi. So Glenn's in for 35%, 75%. 75K. Thank you so Thank much, you. Glenn. And Janine? Where are you at? Um, look, I, I quite like your product. I'm not a, a, a natural um, consumer of it. See, if it was dried carrots or a dried cucumber, she'd be in. Oh, yeah, no, vegan, I would be. If it was vegan, <laughs> she'd be right there. I'll make you an offer. I'll give you $75,000 for 37%. Thank you. And <laughs> obviously, um, I've got more experience than the, the people on the table with regard to the food. OK, we've got Steve. In the right corner, 75,000. In the blue corner, 40%. The decisive one, mind you. Naomi. This took them too long. Naomi, 35% for 75,000. Glenn is the same, 75,000 for 35%. And Janine has come in at 75,000 for 37%. Can we take a moment? Yeah, you go for it. OK, thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Just remember growth, guys, growth. I've got this, guys. What's that? No, 40. She, she was my body language. If you want it, you have to come to 35. Sucks to be you three. I got this. You're smart. It's me. It's me. I got it. It's me. No. 50 bucks. Perth couple, Alyssa and Elias, are seeking $75,000 for a 20% stake in their jerky business. Their new take on an old favourite has Glenn, Naomi, Janine and Steve fighting it out. You'd love to have a decisive investor, wouldn't you? I'm trying to undercut this bugger because I think I'd be a better partner. Ooh. It's me. It's me. I got it. 50 bucks. But now they need to decide which shark will be best for their business. What are you thinking? Oh, um, I like Glenn. I think, I think he knows the industry really well. Um, what about Janine? Um, I don't know. I really like Naomi, though. I know. Really <laughs> She's like awesome. I really like Naomi, too. Um, do you have any inclination to work, want to work with Steve? I do. <gasps> yeah, <laughs> Keeping in mind we're looking for a partner. Yeah. Janine, this is not a boost juice. No. I don't think you, you, you're right. It, it's natural product. Whether it's cow or it's something else, it's a natural product. What are you feeling? <sighs> You choose. You're the boss. Let's decide out there. Okay. Okay, well, well done. You've had offers from four sharks 40% from Steve, 37% from Janine, and 35% from these two, Glenn and Naomi, which is amazing in its own right. So, would you guys be willing to go to 33%? Who are you talking to? Oh, sorry, uh, Glenn and Naomi and Janine, thank you so much for your offers. And, and Steve, thank you so much, but it's just outside the ballpark, just a little bit too far. So you've uh, said no to Steve's 40%? No, thank you very much, and okay. hopefully we can sell you lots of jerky. <laughs> but come on, you, you, you came in here and you basically just said, no, I don't want you. I mean, that, that is... You've got to do that better in the future, right? You, you, you cannot do that to people, right? OK. Because I could have been back in. OK. To be quite blunt, you said, no. Nah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think that I'm was really a mistake. Sorry. That that was, he, he did not intent. intent to do that. I'm I, really sorry about that. He did oh, not. Oh, you're a lovely man. He's... Be, don't even worry about it. He's a very He's sensitive so young baby. man. Seriously, he is the most sensitive shark on the show. So Steve's out. 
I'm out. Janine, would you be interested in 33% at all? Where I was with 37%, I actually thought that was actually quite reasonable considering where you've put in and how early your business is. Yep. And also the long journey you've got ahead of you. I'm staying at 37. Thank you. Thank you. Naomi? The reason why I went to 35% is because I wanted to give an extra 5% over Steve because I thought I'd be a better partner. But actually, his valuation made all the sense in the world to me. So I'm also not going to adjust from 35%. Thank you. So if your numbers stack up in due diligence, I'll go you 33%. Yep. Who did you really want? Who do you think can add the most value to your business? I. You choose. Um, thank you so much for your offers. As I said, we didn't mean to offend. Thank you, Janine, for your offer um, and for all the feedback really valuable feedback. Um, Naomi, also, thank you so much. I'll go to 35. Damn! Oh, that's, right. <laughs> that's what we love. Just Tyson. That's Tyson. Awesome. Awesome. Sharks. Beautiful. <laughs> Making this difficult. Um, I'm, thank you so much, Janine. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it. 35. I think we'll have to go with... Yeah. Glenn at 33%. <laughs> Good decision, Elias. Thank you. Great Thank you work. Much. Great work. Thank you Thanks so much. Wow. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Well done. When she said, I'll have Glenn, it was like pain. I'll have Glenn! <laughs> because... They didn't really want you, Glenn. Well, you hoped they were hungry. Yeah. It was, it was a feeding frenzy <laughs> over you. Absolutely nerve-wracking. <laughs> a, a bit of shock. Gee, Steve snapped a bit at you, didn't he? Oh, I feel bad. So bad. <laughs> I, I really like Steve. <laughs> but it was definitely Glenn. He he was all in. He was feet first, wasn't yes, he? Yes, yes. And he was fighting for us. All right, best of luck. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much.